Wakurugenzi kuna mahesabu nimepiga piga juzi na zimenigadhabisha. Nimepigwa na butwa. <laughs> Ushaika chini ukapiga hesabu ya ile pesa yote uwagaunda tuma during transaction. Like the transaction charges. Wachana na ile kitu unalipia. Aa, ile unachajiwa kama transaction charges. Ushai piga tu hesabu yote ya hiyo pesa ukajua ni how much. Mwacho yangu nilifanya makosa nikapiga na nimeshanga. Kumbe wada unakuwaga na pesa itau na naishi na shida. <laughs> Turns out, I average 3,000 shillings every month on transaction charges. Like zile pesa na katakatu, oo oh, nimeenda bank, nataka kutumia mtu mungine pesa kwa bank. Iyo, oo oh, nimekatwa sijui 75 shillings kufanya nini. Unano utu vitu, oo oh, umeenda umenunua kitu mahali, umelipishwa hii na transaction, transaction charge ya hii. 3000 shillings that's an average of 100 bob daily wadau hiyo hesabu kwa mwaka ni 36000 shillings do you know what you can be able to do with 36000 bob watu wangu wakasarani mtakubali niseme 36000 bob ni two bedroom miezi mbili kata si mnalipa 18k kwa mwezi 36000 ni two months rent 36000 ni term school fees ya one term ya mtu mahali na pia inaweza kuwa ni school fees ya mwaka eh 36000 ni around 12 bills za unga unajua hapo nikisema nimeileta nyumbani hapo kwa unga nimewaguza <laughs> 36000 ni pesa unaweza lipa as health insurance juu ya SSF nimesikia eh NHIF nimesikia wanakata watu is it 2100 a month so 36000 holy yeah. In fact, endeni hapo kwa comments, muniambie ni nini mnaweza fanya na 36000 shillings. Na ndio tusishinde tukipoteza hii pesa juu tunaipoteza sana. Wadau. La nini kutumia kitu inaitwa nini? Visa card. Hapa hakuna mtu anakucharge any transaction charges. Mhm. Wewe unapiga mambo yako kama umeondokea. Oko hiyo pesa maze. Ah, kwanza vile saika economic anatupeleka. Eh hey, 36000 ni pesa nyingi. Oko hiyo pesa. Cheza na visa card yako. Au sio mdao. Very nice. Watu wangu wa visa card hebu niambieni hapo chini. 36000 shillings unaweza fanya nini nayo? I want to see. <laughs> Haya bas. Tuingie kwenye kipindi guys. Twende sana. If you see Krugenzi in the building, you just know he's got the juice. Ah, now, wangwana leo nataka tukimbie moja kwa moja mpaka kwa majirani wetu pande ya kusini ambao ni kina nani? South Africans. Pale South Africans, I mean South Africa mid 1940s kuna jamaa amezaliwa pale eh, kijana anaitwa Um, eh, aya aona na sauti na starring wetu anaitwa Standa Andre Standa Andre Standa amezaliwa kwa familia ya you know law enforcement baba yake ni Bazu ni Gwiji pale kwa South African Police SAP so vile Standa ana grow baba yake ashaamua hii hakuna otherwise huyu kijana anafuata nyayo zangu za kukuwa askari hii story iko ina bamba understand at all at all at all in fact i think ilimu affect design hata pale shule hakuperform vizuri sana i think alikuwa na gmba in case ni perform fit maybe mzaye ata lose hope afanye nini aniwache mimi nifanye ile mambo mimi nataka kufa nataka kufanya kumbe mzaye hatambui alisema liwe liwalo upate a e, upate e unaingia kikosi which is exactly what happened By the time Andre Standa anamaliza shule baba yake Franz Standa ambaye alikuwa bigi kwa makarao wa SAP at the time alimchukua teke teke akampeleka 
police training college haraka faster hata e, akizembea zembea kwa police training college alikuwa anavutwa haya toka atapostiwa akaingia kazi so despite effort zote za understander kukataa hii mambo ya kuingia polisi baba yake alikuwa ameamua na hivyo ndio ilikuwa so understander hakuwa na any other uh, choice ikabidi aingie kikosi na akasukuma but of course it did not take long for understander kuamua mimi sasa despite the fact that niko kwa force mimi nitafanya ile kazi nafikiria inanibamba one lunch time understander anatoka kwa ofisi pale anaenda kwa kampuni ana haya gari anachukua hiyo gari anaenda mahali kwa supermarket ananunua zile fake mustache ananunua fake beard na ananunua zile kofia zinaitwa balaclava mnajua zile watu wa pikipiki wanavaa zile na wakora siku zingine anashika balaclava yake safi anachukua gari yake yenye amehaya anaenda na ipak mahali huwa e, ana stake kwanza anaona okay hapa kuna ka parking nje ya bank ana park hiyo gari hapo anashuka vizuri kumbukeni ye ni polisi kwa hivyo hata kamambo ako nako anaenda anafungua mlango pale anafunguliwa eh, mlango ya bank na soldier soldier anamkaribisha ndani enda fanya mambo yako eh, understand anaenda anakaa pale kwa teller anafungua koti kidogo anaonyesha teller hii kwa hapa si lollipop hii mtu wangu nikiitoa utafurahia so fanyaje hii ni bag weka pesa yote yenye iko kwa hiyo drawer yako hapa ndani wadau hii time ni around the 70s 1977 to be precise hakukuwa na CCTVs hakukuwa tiona oh, vitu watu wanafinya finya hapa pesa inatoka a ah, a ah. ilikuwa tena anakaa na stack yake ya manoti hapo anapiga shughuli zake akimaliza wanaenda wanafungua volta anachukua stack nyingine so ukienda ukae chini na tela moja unapona So standa akapatia akaonyeshana bunduki kidesign bag amepeana ule tela hakuwa na alternative akaweka kila kitu kwa ile bag na akamsukumia standa akachukua bag yake sawa sawa na akasimama akamshukuru sana kwa kazi safi na cooperation na akatoka akatembea vizuri sasa cha kushangaza ni kwamba wakati anatoka nje ya mlango soja alimsalimia tena akamwambia asanti sana kwa kututembelea na tunakusihi urudi tena pia kesho Standa kamwambia worry no more you know why cuz i got you na akatoka akaenda akaingia kwa gari na akarudi kazini kama kawaida wadau hii ilikuwa ni mida ya lunch time wenzake wakienda kukula chapati madondo yeye yeah, ametoka ameenda ame rob bank alafu amerudi ghafla bin vu punde si punde si inasemekana kuna wizi imefanyika mahali fulani oh bank imeibiwa wale askari wanatumwa kukuja kufanya investigation andrew standa ni mmoja wao <laughs> wa <laughs> na hivyo ndio andrew standa aliingia hii kazi ya wizi wa mabavu let me tell you business was booming between 1977 na 1980 Andre Standa alichapia banks karibu mia. He made a way with close to nikiangalia na pesa yetu sasa sasa hii close to 30 million in those three years. 30 million Kenya shillings. So of course ni, ni in rand but nikipiga conversion ni adjust for inflation ni nini ni, it's 30 million of our money today. Umse alikuwa amekafunga mbaya. Ah but sasa the boy after hizo miaka tatu alikuwa shakuwa super confident in fact hata akuwa anachapia mabank za hapo kwao no ah no alikuwa shamua sasa me am going uh, regional anatoka pale uh, kwa uh, joba anashika ndege haraka haraka anaingia hii uh, town ya uh, Durban anaingia Durban pale anawatandika proper alafu anarudi na hii yote anafanya hapa over lunch hour Atatoka tu mapema kidogo. Kama lunch ni 12:30, atajiomba kitu kama saa sita. Akimbie airport teketeke, ndege mpaka Daban, achape pa pa pa, alafu arudi, shike ndege yake, ah saa na nusu mtu wangu, ako kwa desk yake, anafanya mambo yake. Like the boy alikuwa na confidence design akiamua leo tunaingia kazi, hachapi bank moja. Anakuja anagonga huyu, anagonga huyu, anagonga huyu, ndio anatoka anarudi. Eh Haezi toka job agadi daba naende kupiga one bank job no 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 hiyo ni incompetence ni mtu alikuwa amejiweza 
So of course by the time 1980 nafika confidence iko over the roof na yeye anataka kufanya nini expand anataka expansion so akaanza kutafuta watu ambao wanaweza piga timu wak pamoja wafanye hii kitu Hapa ndio makosa ilianza kuingia Of all the people Andre Standa could have called this guy decided to call a friend of his from the force South Africa wako na kitu inaitwa boss bureau of state security alipigia mtu kutoka boss akamwambia ni aje mtu yangu first of all hii salary yetu ya polisi najua ni nonsense niko na idea ukikaa mkae na mimi ufuate ratiba yangu nikupeleke na mtaratara utapona mimi nakwambia tunachapia mabanki na hii South Africa mbaya sana niko juu ya maziwa deadly na nataka nikutoe kwa ngori juu ya mshahara yako na juu ya kutoshi kuja tufanye kazi mtu yangu kama tutengeneze hii pesa unasemaje unakuja ukuji Of course huo jamaa wa boss sababu wako loyal to the state hiyo kitu ilimuuma jo like wao umeamua kuwa tapeli alafu unataka kuniingiza kwa utapeli yako so what does he do anaenda kwa authorities anawaambia oh ya niaje maze kuna colleague wetu wamego bad anachapia mabank hapa mbaya itabidi tumkule surveillance twende tucheki ni nini hizo anafanya tumweke ndani bas na hapo ndio sting operation inaleiwa teke teke wanaanza kufuata Andre Standa wanamfuata wanamfuata wanakama wana discover oh waga na haya gari anaenda na piga job anarudi in fact kwa one of the occasions walikuwa na piga sting operation yao walipata one of the vehicles that he had hired in fact by 1980 hata alikuwa ameacha kuhaya alikuwa anaziiba sasa anaenda anaiba anaenda anachapia wasemi kwa bank huko anakama na dump mahali So hii round hiyo amekama amepata gari moja alikuwa ameiba ana prepare kwenda kupiga nayo shughuli ya bank. So wakati ya yuko rada wakakuja hapo teke teke wakafungua boot wakapata eh, license plate ni imetolewa of course kama unatembea na gari ya wizi huwezi tembea na number plate yake si utashikwa. So ametoa ile eh, number plate origi ameweka number plate fake wakafungua pale ndani kwa glove compartment wakapata ile bag flava zile ndevu nini na kagan flani. Kumbe sasa hata ameacha kuoperate na ile gani yake ya job. Sasa yako na gun flani ya kupiga hizo shughuli. Lakini wale maaskari ni wajanja wakaambia nani aje tusimezeshe. Wacha na naye wachaende shughuli yake akirudi ndio tunamkamata. So walipka hapo wakimwatch deadly wakamfuata jamaa akakuja akachukua gari akaenda kwa airport kutoka eh, airport akaenda akapiga hiyo shughuli sinaambia shughuli zake anapiga na masaa eh saa sita na nusu mpaka saa nane ashamaliza asharudi so wakamngojea tu pale airport akirudi afuta sasa ametoka kutambariza huko side za Durban wakakam bam wakamshika as ana kam tu kuingia kwa gari yake Wo hapo wakampata na ile balaklava, wakampata na zile ndevu fake, wakampata na nini? Na bunduki ambayo ametumia kufanya nini? Kuibia watu hapo. And that is how Andre Standa alijipata ameingia korokoroni. Niko sure mnashangaa story ya leo mkuru kwa nini ya dakika tano. Nataka nikae hapa niwaeleze ya kwamba story ndio inaanza. <laughs> sababu ile kitu Andre Standa amekuwa akitafuta hizi miaka tatu anaenda kuipata mahali pale anaenda kurushwa ambapo ni jela kuu ya Zonda Vota Daba I mean Johannesburg Now Andre kabla ajarusha ajarushwa jela wacha tuangalie love life yake kidogo Mida ya 1967 pale Andre aliangukia msupa fulani Ah, kama uingiza box teke teke 1969 wakaoana barely two years later wao mrembo wakainua mkono kumbe Andres si mtu unaweza kaa na yeye rahisi akamtoka lakini ni kama dry spell ni ya shetani sababu baada ya miaka ine waliitana tena mkutano wakaambia na gadhe tuache ujinga na tukaanishe pamoja ni nini tunasumbuana so around 1975 wakarudiana lakini miaka tatu wazikuisha Hai 78 kienda kuingia walikuwa wameinuliana mikono tena na Andres akaamua you know what in mambo ya familia pia staki wacha niishi kigengeng e, mimi sasa ni mimi na bugs so 1977 78 wakati wanaachana na bibi ndio ameingia nini ishughuli yake ya kuchapia mabank sawa sawa so this is a guy who has nothing to lose hana familia hana mtoto nothing ameamua nikaende sana so hapa tumekuja sasa tuko 1980 amefumaniwa na wale makarao wamemtupa wapi Rumande. Ah no korokoroni yako jela sasa. Amewekwa pale sijuni miaka saba. Akiwa pale ndani anapata kuna two other convicted felons. 
mzee mzima Patrick Macall na raia fulani anaitwa Alan Hale hao watu ni hatari kuchapia mabank hatari Patrick Macall akishika tu gari hivi haumpati ni getaway driver mdeadly na akiingia kwa bank anatambariza vile inafaa so hawa ndio watu mzee mzima Andre Standa amekuwa kitafuta hizi miaka tatu anakuja kuwapata jela ndani immediately wanaamua liwe liwalo hii jela tunaitoka lazima turudi business kuna bank tellers wanatumis mbaya sana kuna ma security guard wanashangaa tulienda wapi lazima turudi streets wada so macall na understanda wanakaa chini wanapiga deliberation wanakuja wanagundua kila wiki e, prison huo inaleta watu wa physiotherapy pale sababu kuna ma injuries kibao wao watu wakifanya mazoezi zao pale kwa yard wanaangukiwa na machuma wao oh, wanaumia mifupa nini so kuna ka physiotherapist ke ukuja kila wiki wakajua nao physiotherapist akikuja huyo ndio tikiti yetu out so tukae rada tumungoje akam so list ya wale watu wanaenda kuona physiotherapist ikatoka ilikuwa ni list ya takriban mtu saba among the seven Patrick McCall Andrew, uh, Andrew Standard wako pale hao hawana majeraha hawana injury nothing hao wako business wanajua ile kazi imewapeleka pale so as wanatolewa cell zao teketeke waende wapigishwe hiyo lap mpaka mali physiotherapist yuko washapiga hesabu zao washaona okay guards wanatuwa ni nini watatu sisi tuko wa saba tukileta commotion kidogo hao wase watatusaidia ah hao watatu tutawateka so vile waliingia tu hivi kwa physiotherapist hapo kabla daktari afanye mambo yake one two one two vwap kukazuka dakika hiyo hiyo makara wawili kwanza wakalalishwa bunduki zao zikaenda Makola ako na bunduki yake, Standa ako na bunduki yake. Ule karao mwingine I think aliogopa akanyenyekea tu sababu watu wawili wako na bunduki wao uko peke yako utafanya nini? Of course akakuwa overpowered. Nice. Wakafungwa hapo haraka faster. Wale wafungwa wengine wako hapo wana watch in amazement. Wanataka kujua hii sinema inaenda wapi. Standa na Makola wakamaliza kufunga maofisa pale wakaambia physiotherapist oya gave nimeona uko na gari safi sana pale nje rusha hiyo kifunguo ni kuonyeshe ah physiotherapist hezi bishana kawapatia kifunguo quick fast Makola na Standa within no time walikuwa nje wakawasha gari ya mjamaa raka faster teke teke na wakatoka nje zonda vota prison na wakaenda kuenda serikali ilitafuta hao vijana ikachoka ama jamaa walienda wakapiga lay low for a good four months hakuna kutokelezea hakuna kuonekana mitaani na four months chini ya maji ah vile walikama wakati suspect aka makara washacha na na sisi wameacha kutusumbua wakamwa you know what it's go time sasa ni wakati wa kurudi kazi but first order of business one of us is still in prison lazima tumuendee mzee mzima nani alan hale huyo ndio mtu tunahitaji hapa sasa tunaanza tuendeleze nini operation wakapanga mikakati sawa sawa wakapiga piga pale research wakagundua kuna ka exam eh, ma prisoners wanafanya fanya pale eh, ya mambo ya trade na mzee mzima alan hale alikuwa nakalia hiyo pepa hiyo asubuhi so wakaamua hii wakati ya mtihani is the right time to strike so wakajiami na tubundu kitu dogo wakati alan hale ameingia pale exam room kuna invigilator pale ambaye ni prison warden mmoja kwa hapo na bunduki yake anamngojea majamaa waliingia tukigafla wakaweka wada chini Alan Hale teketeke wakamtoa wakaingia kwa gari nje na wakaishia mpaka nashindwa kwani prison in the 80s ilikuwa jokes aje like wewe una imagine sasa hii uende utoe mtu kamiti sasa hii aje like hawa watu nikawa walikuwa they had it easy man So yeah and just like that Alan Hale was outside ametoka sasa wako watatu wameenda wame ah kwisha it's a done deal 10 days later wakakaa chini wakaamua sasa imefika wakati wa kurudi kazi e, tumetulia ya kutosha siku kumi si imekuwa sawa ya kupumzika hiyo ujela imekutoka very nice let's go to work wakaenda wakapata jamaa kona gun shop ah wakajua hapa ndio tunaanzia sasa wakaingia gun shop teke teke wakalalisha watu hapo chini ya raka faster wakabeba mazema wa bunduki ya tari tari na marisasi kibao wakaweka kwa baga raka faster na wakaingia kwa gari na wakazidi wadao the next 3 to 4 months aha authorities walifraya oh my god 
au watu walikuwa wanachapia bank kuchapia wanaingia wanavuruga wanatoka na ni hiyo story hakuna CCTV hakuna nini so mnaibiwa lakini amjui mnaibiwa mkisha wakisha toka wakienda ndio unasikia nduru moja huko kuna tela anapiga nduru ah too little too late majamaa walishatoka wakaenda kabisa sasa mazeni soft life sababu wase wana eh hey, kuna bank waliingia hiyo design wana wanachapia bank statu atago like anaingia hapa anatoka anaingia hii anatoka na anaingia hii anatoka iko time collectively walitoka na 167000 rand hiyo at the time ilikuwa kitu kama 1.6 million Kenya shillings in the 80s that was a lot of money a lot so hama jamaa walikuwa wamejiweza deadly makara wanashindwa ah watu wanaoparetaje who are these guys but wasewa wako kazi mbaya Of course mkishapata pesa ya rais hivyo so unajua pia sherehe lazima itandikwe kama mwezi wa kibeti. Ah wale fraia. Kuiva za huko ziliona fire. Eh hey, hey, 1825 South Africa iliona fire. Ah vijana walikuwa wanavuruga mbaya. Meza inachafuliwa proper. Sasa na akina babies, mabinti, hao. <laughs> kama ulikuwa na mtoto mrembo around hiyo area early 80s. Ah pole kama alikutana na kina standa pole hapo unahesabu tu loss walikuwa wanapita nao mbaya the good life was part of them until siku moja allegations fulani zikatokea ya kwamba the mastermind Andre Standa who in fact the group was named after just say group yao ilikuwa ikaitwa the Standa gang ati alienda akaongelesha msichana mdogo wa 16 years akamdanganya yeye ni photographer akampeleka kwa hotel room mahali alafu oh kukaenda kukawa msichana akaripiwa hiyo story ilikami ikatoka na somehow the lady aliweza ku identify ya kwamba ule mtu alimshika cha nguvu was none other than Andrew Standard who was already on police radar watu walikuwa na juu jamaa anatufanya mbaya ni vile tu akona grease atumshiki sijui ana operate aje ujamaa tumpati So hapo ndiyo sasa nyota zao zilianza kuzimiwa. Haya. Vijana wametambariza kweli kweli wako kila mahali wameiba kila wameamua hapa sasa nikaende sana. Msichana ametokelezea hapa ameweza ku identify ya kwamba ule mtu alimshika cha nguvu ni one Andre Standa. Hii ripoti inafikia Andre Standa Andre anaambia wenzake kumeanza kuharibika. Unaona watu washaanza ku, ku, ku tu, ah hii itakuwa blanda. Hapa tukiendelea kukaa tutachomwa. Na sasa hii tukarudishwa ndani wa down hivyo hatutoki. Tunaingia ndani for life. So itabidi tutafute vile tutatoka hii South Africa. Hakuna ujanja mwingine. So route ya kutoka ni gani? Walikuwa wamemulika mtu anauza yacht. Wale watu tulisomea polling stations tunaziitanga yacht but ni yacht. Kuna yacht pale ilikuwa inaitwa Lily Rose takriban 200,000 hii yote walikuwa waichukue wa sale kutoka down south waende hivyo na west atlantic ocean waende watokee wapi US of A hiyo ndio ilikuwa plan so lazima watafute mikakati ya vile watashika hii yote wachangamke so akaamua ndio tushike hii kitu lazima tufanye nini one last job si hiyo iko sawa hiyo iko sawa but wadao wanasema ga siku ya nyani kufa ikifika miti zote uteleza Between hao kupanga hiyo na hao ku execute job ya mwisho maswara zilikuwa tu zina happen. Iko siku moja maze understand ameamka vizuri ametoka kwa nyumba amepiga kakinyasa kake kadogo na kavest ametoka nje apige jogging sababu yeye ni mtu anapigaga zoezi kila asubuhi. Maze akipiga zoezi hivi anapiga tani hivi anapata makarao fulani pia wanapiga zoezi. Hao makarao wako ameanticipate watakutana na Andre Standa na yeye pia ako ameanticipate so by the time you were hit wait a minute tu ndio ule boy tunatafuta alikuwa shachangamka na akaingia mitini very fast akaponea aliponea hivi by a whisker wametoka hapo wameingia mkutano kidogo yeye na hiyo standard gani yake wamekaa kwa restaurant hivi hata madondo ijawekelewa kwa meza polisi wakaingia pap na unajua mapolisi wanaingia gani kitu ya kuangalia kila mtu mwenye yako hapa ndani ehe mnaendeleza nini mazewa yani waliangalia tu chini oh karama karawa kapita tu walivuta tu kiti pale wakaamka teke teke hawakuta kujua kai ndondo mandondo walikuwa shailipia nothing away kuenda sana hiyo time tulikuwa tuna operate na vitu zinaitagwa VHS okay watoto wa 2001 tutafuteni notebooks niwaambie VHS ilikuwa hakukuwa na DVDs kulikuwa na vitu zilikuwa zinaitwa VHS players. So hiki tu ilikuwa gani 
ni 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 tape so sinema yako iko ndani ya tape hiyo tape unaicheza na VHS machine sasa hizi tapes sababu uweze shinda ukinunua movie kila wakati kulikuwa na vitu zinaitwa rental shops so kama mimi niko na ma video za commando hapo home na najua ile rental shop iko na van dem nachukua commando yangu moja naenda napatia wale wasu wa rental shop wananipatia van dem yao ama kama sina yoyote ya kupeana wanaenda wananipatia yenye wako nayo na walipa kitu kidogo eh, but nikimaliza ku watch lazima nirudishi ndio niweze kuchukua ingi ingine zilikuwa zaita goma video shop so siku moja maze Andre Standard kioko video shop ana exchange wa maze ka VHS yake ende akajibambe na ma action ajui action imemfuata hapa makara wawili pap wakaingia bahati hawakumuona so akajitoa tena pole pole akaenda ai wakajita meeting wakatoa wakajiambia no it's getting too close sasa wadau itabidi tujitoe wacheni twende sasa sasa but before to talk hapa kuna job moja inatungoja sasawa very nice hii job tutaipiga wote tunaingia bank sisi wote kila mtu anashika tela wake kila mtu atoke na fulusi kila mtu atoke na mtamambo na hivyo ndio walipanga fiti sana wakaenda wakaiba gari vizuri wakakama wakapata bank moja iko na parking space wakaingiza gari yao hapo wakashuka poa sana na masuti kila mtu akaingia guard wakafurahi sana kuona ama jamaa asante sana ma customer ingieni mfanye mambo yenu wakaenda wakaingia kila mtu akashika kiti yake karibu na tela bas nikoti inasongeshwa tu kando unaona revolver vile inakuangalia hapa kando unatii wakaokota kila mtu na tela wake wakaekewa mapesa kwa bag vizuri wakapewa bag wakasimama wote almost at the same time na wakatoka majestically pale kwa mlango soja akawaaga na akawaambia please guys rudini pia kesho tunafurahi sana kuwa na wateja kama nyinyi na wakachomoka wakaingia kwa gari yao teke teke hup, na wakazidi wametoka na fulusi deadly like ah pesa ilikuwa sawa sawa makosa ni kwamba hawakujua ya kwamba hii bank for the first time tangu hii kariya yao ya ujambazi kumbe walikuwa na kitu inaitwa close circuit television aka cctv hizi ni vitu wao watu hawajawahi encounter so haikuwa anywhere kwa rida yao kumbe banks wamechoka kuchapiwa wameshaanza kuweka hizo vitu na akina standa hawajui so now picha zao wote watatu ziko kila mahali of course it does not take long for your news kutembea south africa deadly andru standa mazea anaamka anapata picha yake kwa gazeti anashindwa oh my god watu walianza kuweka makameras kwa bank lini he ikakuwa hapa ni noma wadau ile mradi yetu ya yote bado iko but kile ita happen mimi wacheni niende US of A niende ni watayarishie makao by the time nyinyi mnapiga hii sailing kutoka South Africa mpaka kule mtapata nimeshawatengenezea kila kitu sawa sawa ah wakasema sawa akachukua loot yake sawa sawa akaeka kwa bag vizuri airport teke teke na akapanda ndege yake mpaka Florida if i'm not wrong akaingia Florida yeye kwenda kusafisha rada now mnakumbuka nikiwaambia hawa majamaa wakiwa South Africa kama kulikuwa na watu walikuwa wamesherehekea na hawa watu ni wasichana kuna hawa wanaitwa escorts sju waga wanasindikiza watu kwenda wapi ndio waitwe escorts but escorts walikuwa wamepona na pesa ya kina standa so vile picha zilitokea kwa magazeti na kila kitu ya kwamba these are the most wanted criminals in Johannesburg of course ama dem walishtuka sana wakashindwa ah kumbe tumekuwa tukijivinjari na matapeli so mmoja wao akaenda wapi kwa polisi kwenda kwa polisi akaambia sasa waga kuna manyumba hawa watu wanaita safe house hawa majamaa hawa operating kwa manyumba zao wako na ma safe house fulani wakati tuko na masherehe wanatupelekanga huko so mimi naweza ku direct baka kwa one of the safe houses uone maybe kama unaweza wapata huko of course hii information ilikuwa gold for the authorities wakaambia msichana tafadhali tuchore map kila kitu tuambie ni wanakuaga wangapi ni nini tunaweza expect huko ndani mabunduki ziko design gani ni watu tunaezana nao ama watatusumbua so msichana akawaambia kila kitu safe house ndio hii eh, wanakuaga watatu mabastola ndio wanatembea nazo but ni watu roho safi 
tangu hizi operation zote za wizi zianze they have never fired a single shot they have never hurt anyone ni wase wazuri so sidhani ni watu mtasumbuana hapo sawa makarao wakaenda wakafika mahali wamedirectiwa na umrembo of course hawaingii kimalamala kwanza ni kupiga piga darubini ni nini, nini waka discover aha mzee mzima Paul McCall ako ndani wakajiuliza tungoje wakoe wote watatu ndio tuwashike ama akasema wakambo hapana wacha tushike makol tumubembeleze kidogo atatuambia mali yao wengine wawili wa wako kumbe makol yeye ni mtu alishaamua kitambo sana kumbukeni this was a hardened criminal alikuwa tayari ako jela e, ni vile walihepe, alihepeshwa na akina nani so aka, ye alikuwa shaamua mimi hakuna jela narudi kama mbaya mbaya kuenda vile kutaenda So makarao wakatokea wako na kila mtu snipers wase wa assault SWAT team nini wamejipanga proper wakakuja mazee wakatandika mlango mlango haifunguki wakabunja dirisha wakatupa zile smoke machines huko ndani smoke bombs sorry zinalipuka tu huko jamaa kwa huko ndani anapiga nduru akisema sitoki kujeni muniwe ai wakaona huyu mzee kwanza vile anarudisha mpaka marisasi pa 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 wakaona uongo mbaya huyu atatumaliza huyu apange kutoka hapa akiwa hai so moja tu akatoa grenade akarusha ndani ikalipuka i think makola akapiga hesabu akaona kama watu wameanza kunirushia grenade na ni mimi tu peke yangu ah watu si wameamua tu yangu imeishi hapa ah uongo mimi sitakubali wanishike sababu wakinipeleka ndani ni nakaa milele hiyo haiwezi so the guy akakok bunduki yake akajiwekea kwa kichwa pa, na akajimalizia on the spot immediately by the time cops wanaingia ndani walipata jamaa alishaenda kwa baba kitambo anangojea tu mansion yake ishe ingie now already th- through the girls kuna report ishafikia makarao ya kwamba hawa wanaume walikuwa washaanza ku negotiate na seller flani anauza yacht inaitwa lily rose Eh hey, wanataka kuchukua hiyo tuende nayo mahali haijulikani ni wapi but wanataka ku sale na waende sana. So makarao first order of business ni kutafuta huyo mwenye hiyo Lily Rose wakaenda wakamwambia ni aje wale wase unataka kuuzia hiki kitu ni wagondi ni matapeli. Tunataka tu tushikilie hiyo yako mpaka tupate hao watu. Eh hey, hata hoja Mike ampata off akasema ni sawa. Nyinyi ni serikali siwezi bishana na nyinyi ndio hiyo yote sitaiguza wacha ikae hapo mpaka ile time tutapata hao watu kule ni poza hapo South Africa kiasi nataka tutoke hapo tuingie hapo OR Tambo Airport tumefika nataka tupande ndege hapo South African Airways teke teke Boeing 777 no 767 mumefunga mikanda very nice ndio hao sisi tumepaa tumeenda teke teke tumeenda tumeland mahali panaitwa Tampa Florida wait is it Florida he eh, naweza kuwa nadanganya but tumeanguka USA somewhere <laughs> tumefika USA tunapata nani Tunapata mzee mzima Andre Standard alifika sababu agreement ilikuwa nyinyi kaeni hapa mmalizane na mambo ya boat mimi wacheni ni in the states nikawatayarishie makao ndio by the time mnafika munipate pale jamaa ko states pale anasikia fiti kumbukeni wametoka kupiga one last job pale so ako na fulusi ako na mukuchu bas akaenda kwa car dealership akanunua gari sababu pale US lazima eh lazima asumbue pale kwa street na kadhalika safi nini nini akanunua gari na akatoka akaanza ku drive pale kwa streets huyu mjamaa hana license hana registration nothing sijui alikuwa anafikiria US watu wana operate aje of course akuenda mbali akasimamishwa na askari askari of course wa, aha okay kila kitu kosa lakini ni zao na license na registration yako tafadhali kwanza akapatiana jina wrong akasema yeye ni Australian sijui anafanyaga kazi gani ya marine biologist or something e, ilikuwa uongo ni, ni, ni ndume ya South Africa wakauliza license reg- registration hana ah si ikabidi kijana asukumu ndani but pale ndani wakamwambia ina mambo hatuwezi kufungia hapa fanyaje e, lipa tu cash bill flani gari yako tutabaki tume impound mpaka upate zile papers zako alafu Ukipata tu hizo papers we kuja tuonyeshe chukua gari uende. Of course ana papers na hezi zipata sababu yeye ni fugitive. Huko South Africa anatafutwa mbaya. Akajua hapa uongo mbaya. Nikiamua kwenda the legal route hakuna mahali naenda na sikumu watu ndani. So hii gari wame impound nitaisanya. 
so akaenda akajua mali wa mesetio gari usiku wa manane wakati kila mtu amelala soja na ngorota pale kwa gate akaenda akaruka fence aka hot wire hiyo gari haraka faster vruf, na akapita na gate kama ameenda very fast of course sasa ukifanya kitu kama hiyo on american soil sasa wewe umechokoza nyuki umelamba nyuki mahali fulani ufai kuilamba we uko kwa wanted list sasa So kwa kwa noma makarao wako na picha yake sababu wakati walimshika wakampeleka police station walimpiga nini zile ma mugshots so wako na picha so makarao wanafanya nini wana release hizo picha APB all points bulletin kwa kila mtu kwa force we mkikutana na huu mtu anaendesha gari ya hii aina hii na rangi hii huyo mtu ni suspect mshikeni mumweke ndani oi isha televiziwa mpaka kwa news watu wana sasa wananchi wanajua kuna jamaa fulani hapa anatafutwa na makarao mbaya Understanda ametoka na gari yake ameona hii gari kwanza ile rangi inamezeshea hii lazima ni change. Akarudi kwa ile car dealership yenye alinunua, akaambia waseni aje, eh hii kitu itanikosta how much kubadilisha rangi yote na ita take how long. He. By the time anafika kwa hiyo car dealership, mwenye car dealership alishaona habari. Anashangaa wait a minute, tu boy nimemuuzia gari jana. Hata hajamaliza kupigwa na bumbuazi. Jamaa ndio huyo ana walk in kwa shop ashindwa ah okay so akamwachezi chini akamwambia ina mambo hii ah hii kupaka rangi siku tatu itakuwa sawa itakukost eh, x amount iko sawa iko sawa andres akakanja na akatoka akaenda immediately mwenye ada akapigia lawyer wake akamwambia oya kuna mse fulani makarao anatafuta ametoka kwa shop yangu sasa hii nifanye nini lawyer akamwambia call makarao immediately weka chini 911 tu wakashika We, kuna mtu mnatafuta eh, amekuja hapa kununua gari amerudisha anataka tuipake rangi na mmekuwa mnamtafuta sana makarao akawa ah yes yeah, tunataka huyu jamaa deli ah niko na ye. so waka through the car dealership eh, na makarao wakapanga tu design namna safi wakakuja wakapata mjamaa wakamtrail mpaka mali anaishi na wakapanga hizo hapo wakamngojea vizuri sana understand akaamua tu hiyo siku kutoka apige raundi zake kadhaa akatoka vizuri akaenda akapiga raundi as anarudi i think alikuwa juu ya bicycle or something makarao akaamua this is the time to hang na um jamara ka fast so akatokea wow ni aje simama hapo mtu yangu yo under arrest karibu amsomemba kazi zile eh, rights zake za nini oh, oh, oh kumbe understand ni mtu atembei akiwa uchi ah ah ni mtu wa construct akaamua uongo mbaya au akinishika na jua kile watanifanyia watanipeleka ndani wakamu wagundue mimi ni nani oho wani extradite back to south africa mimi niende jela ya south africa nirudi zonda vota tena uongo mbaya i happen akatoa bunduki yake teke teke akaamua it's happening guys kaende sana say hello to my little friend ama niache gift <laughs> Ah kuna mori wangu anaitwa gift hapa anapenda hiyo line sana. <laughs> so of course pa 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 pa. Ah au makarao ni wengi mnafikiria na stand chance. Wapi? Kichwa headshot chini. Andre Standa eh, ana lose life yake as wanajaribu kumkimbiza hospitali but excessive bleeding anazima na story yake inaishia hapo. So now kwa the standard gang tumepoteza the ring leader Andre Standa na tumepoteza number 2 in command Patrick McCall. Tumebakisha ninja fulani pale anaitwa Alan Hale. Alan Hale anaona vile kumechacha hapa na muongo mbaya. Kuna demi yake fulani anakuaga majuu pale UK. Anampigia simu haraka upesi anamwambia mti yangu I'm coming home. Wacha nirudi tu. Anaenda mpaka UK kwa mwindi mwenzake huko. Ule mwindi anaishi na mama yake but why ndio hiyo ilikuwa gi problem ah tuna, unakuja tu tunaendelea kuishi kwa nini kesho so alikuwa na operate kwa hiyo nyumba ya mama ya wife i mean mama ya girlfriend yake na akaendelea vizuri sana but hizi news zinatembea kama wildfire south africa wanamtafuta south africa wanajua mzee mzima andre alipatikana states so ame, awa, dunia mzima ni kama interpol imejulishwa mkiona alan hale mahali tafadhali tunataka uo mtu Ah, hata iko take long. By 1985, Alan Hale anapatikana mta fulani England, anatiwa mbaroni teke teke, anawekwa ndani. Kwanza England wanamshikilia for 9 years. Ile tu ni Trizex. Eh, 
after hiyo 9 years wanampiga extradition wana extradite teke teke mpaka wapi South Africa analishikwa tu hivi South Africa anawekwa ndani another 25 years ai hao watu wa na mtu maze. so akaingia ndani eh, ali serve 9 years huko UK so hiyo ni kutoka 1985 mpaka around 94 that 94 akaletwa dini akatupwa 25 but akumaliza 25 alitolewa in 2005 eh, na good behavior yeah ni mtu ame alimkubali kristo kama mwokozi wa maisha yake in 2005 wakaamua kuna haja ya kuweka huu mtu hapa ashaanza kuzeeka hata ame reform wacha tumwachilie na akaachiliwa 2005 citizen wa nguvu sana akasukuma maisha yake for another 15 years until 2020 eh ndio taa yake ikazimwa sijui alikuwa mgonjwa ama nini ili happen but alikuwa shazeka ani watu walikuwa born in the 40s so kufikisha 2020 si mbaya ni mtu amejaribu bas na hivyo ndio the entire standard gang ilikuja kuzikwa wote after kusumbua South Africa for a good 5 years wani tesa kutoka hapo between 77 na 80 hata ni 5 years kweli yeah 77 na somewhere there 84 hey, hey, hey. hizo miaka saba waliti they are South Africans unajua kuna kitu mbaya kama unaopigwa na askari mwenzako anakujua hivyo vile unakaa mulitrainiwa na yeye so he knows <laughs> ah wali fraya yeah bas na hapo ndio tunafunga story yetu ya mzee mzima Andre Standard and the Standard Gang wacha ni kupiga funda la Jews mm. tupatane basi katika kipindi kingine e, baada ya siku zisokuwa zizo, chache ama zisokuwa nyingi e, so ile imekuwa ngumu men adhaisi imekuwa tu sana wadau it's been real adios muchachos peace thank you he aya na mkumbuke mambo ya visa guys Mumepoteza pesa enough. Sasa nashinda. Hivi lango yangu naweza fungua. Ah, na kosa ndio yangu haifunguki. Hapo ni simuleta waonyesha mambo ya visa hapo kwa ukuta, waone vitu safi safi. Bas, natofunge kazi yangu. All right. What's next? Mnaweza kaa sasa by the way guys. <laughs> <laughs>